Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. Inside this bag, we have a box. Inside this box, we have, we've all been waiting for it. Yep, the Amazfit Smartwatch 2, also called the Amazfit Stratos. Wow, and it's the English version. We already reviewed the one that's the Chinese version, but this one is all English and usable right out of the box. All of the goodies that are in it. And let's check it out. When we open the box to get inside, you can notice the nice packaging, a white box that says Amaze Fit on the front of it. And get this thing to open. Oh, it's in there tight. It has an interesting aroma to it. I can't usually tell you about how they smell, but oh yeah. Move beautifully. Okay, that's what you see when you open the box. The beautiful Stratos just looking at you with its three buttons and big face and a cover that we can peel off. Oh, okay, it's the cover of the dials. That's interesting. And it's all contained in a little box. Hmm, nice. We can just pull it right out of there. Let's Check out what else we've got. Looks like a manual and a charging dock. The manual is slipped in underneath a little protector there. We'll get back to that. We have the charging cable connected to the dock. It's not a USB type connector. It's a full charging dock for this unit with a cutout for the heart rate uh, sensor. Let's open the band so that it's a little easier to show you this. There we go. Look at this interesting design. We saw this on the Chinese version. This is the English international version. And this is not magnetic, but it snaps. Hear that click? It snaps solidly into the base for charging. So be careful with this. Be careful with that. Be really careful in taking it out. You don't want to hold it and rip it out of its connection by the wire. Word of warning there. You might try to get an extra one of these just in case or to keep it at work. Here we go. We have a TPU band. It's totally removable. And we have three buttons on the watch. In the manual, to get us started, it has a QR code that you can use to download the, uh, the Amazfit watch app. That's what you're going to be using on this one. We've got... How to turn it on and off, connecting it from your phone to your watch through the app, charging it, built-in battery precautions, safety notices, and just, uh, just the basic stuff to get you going. It's not uh, like the full manuals we've seen on many of the Chinese watches that rock, walk you through each of the pages of the apps and such. This is very, very basic, presuming then that it's going to be self-explanatory. And that's what we found in the Chinese version of this one. It pretty much was. It uh, was icon-driven. See if we have enough charge to turn it on. And you could just walk right through it um, once you understood what the apps were. Okay, looks like I got to charge it up, and we'll check it out. We're going to do something special right now. I'm going to do a little cutaway video for a setup guide for how you get the Amazfit watch uh, actually up and running because it's very complicated. So if you've seen this one before, then uh, you can skip right through it. But uh, we're in the middle of the full review and this is the most important part to get going. So we're going to do this little cutaway video. You ready? All right, here we go. Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. This is a special video for how you set up the Amazfit Stratos or Pace for its first use. It's a bit complicated, so pay attention. You've already charged your watch, right? Of course you have, I trust you. Full charge before you touch that top button. But when you are ready, press the button and give it a moment, it's going to start booting up for its first time. While that's happening, you want to go over to the Google Play Store and download the app called the Amazfit Watch. This is the app you're going to be using for tethering to either the Pace or the Stratos. They're both using the same uh, tethering watch. We have that transflective screen going on here, so when the light goes off, you're not going to see a whole lot. 
what I can do is shine an external light on it so you get a, a feel for the fun that this watch is going to bring into your life. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? I feel like I'm in the agitation mode of a washing machine. And here it goes. Now, most smartwatches boot right into the uh, operating system and you're good to go. But not so with these, which is why you need to download the app. Let's get the app going and get ready there. Because you see a QR code came up on the watch. When we have the app and we open it, you're going to be greeted the first time by the privacy policy and terms of service, which you can click on and read. And they're integrated right with the system. So you'll be able to uh, connect and take a look at those things. They're from 2016, so they haven't been updated for a while. But you can agree to them. If you do, then you can go through and create your own account. Uh, sign in once you have it with your email and password or link through either Facebook or Google. So I'm going to set myself up and be on and we'll come back. Now, once you're logged in, you're going to be asked to turn on the contact read permission, which you can do through here. And check the Amaze Fit watch, read the disclaimer, and go back. Tips for using your hardware. Some more tips. Another page. And the last page. Now we're ready. We are in here, but we have to actually tether the watch. When you get connected, you're going to be dropped right into your opening status page. And you'll find that the watch pairing information is up here. If it says unpaired, you're going to need to pair it, of course, which is what you're going to do the first time you're using your watch. This is the Amazfit Stratos. So we're going to select on this. And now it's asking for this QR code. So I find my camera. I'm going to hit it with some light. And boom, it got it. It picked up that code. It's given me a pass key to pair. They need to match on the band and the phone. When I say OK on both of them to confirm it, I'm now connecting. I can restore data if I want to. Uh, so we are back now at the main page. And it says, unfortunately, health has stopped. All right. Let's just check that. But it's going to guide us through the setup on the watch. It wants to know if you're using it on the left or right arm. I'm going to use it on the left, meaning the buttons will be on the right. And it continues the setup process within the watch now that it's actually been tethered to the app. And there we go. We're on our first watch face. And it's synchronized with the time in my area. It has the temperature and the basic statistics. So the watch is ready. Let's come over here and take a look at the app. It says that it's connected up here. Talks about our activities. And look. There's an update for the watch. You're probably going to get that as well. You can skip it if you want to, or you can update immediately. It's going to tell you version 2327 is where I'm at right now. And it's giving you information about this, what the uh, update is uh, going to add to your watch. And I'm going to go ahead and update right now. So I say update immediately. We look at the watch. And there it goes, checking for new versions. And as it goes out there, it says there's a new version. I'm fully charged now, remember. You've charged yours, right? You definitely want to have a lot of battery power. Now, I have to connect to Wi-Fi first. So let me do that. I'll connect to my Wi-Fi network, and that way I can download it directly to the watch. So here's a fun thing. When you say uh, connect, it asks you to input your Wi-Fi password over on your phone so you don't have to deal with a tiny little keyboard. So I'm over here now that I put my password in for Wi-Fi. I say done, I connect, and I'm connected to Wi-Fi. It says it's obtaining the IP address, and it's connected. Great. Now, it backed out automatically, and it's going to go through 
a firmware update. You with me so far? Okay, you want to go through all these steps to make sure that your uh, Stratus or your Pace are set up properly. And basically, that's it. When you uh, are back here, you're going to go over and check to see if there's any more updates. Now, we're going to walk through this whole watch operation in a little bit. If you're watching the full review, um, I just want to guide you over to just one thing in this initial setup. You're going to come down here to where it says, you see where it says upload and update. You want update. You want to press that in the settings and check for new versions. After you've done that and installed any new versions, because they'll go one after another after another, and you're at the latest one, it'll come back and tell you that's the latest version running and you're basically done. So those of you who are watching our full review right now, hang tight, we're about to continue. For those of you who are watching just the setup video, if you want to see our full review of the Amazfit Stratos or the Amazfit Pace, yeah, you can come on over to our Smartwatch Ticks YouTube channel. Easy to get there. All you do is use Google and put in the word YouTube Smartwatch Ticks Amazfit. Those three words should guide you, and you can pick out whatever video you'd like to watch and continue your education. For those of you watching the full review, here we go. Let's take a look at this thing. The watch is basically easy to operate. It's normally in the locked condition, okay? To release it from the locked condition, you can tap the button once and see it light up. If I swipe down, you get the ability to go into a do not disturb mode, and that's silence or regular mode where silent is not enabled. You have airplane mode to take you off of any of your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. And you have a brightness setting. Now, it's got different levels. There's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. You see it brightening up? Indoors, that's how it looks. Full brightness. But you always get a better screen with the reflectivity. So I'm going to continue operating it this way. And then you can get into settings right here. And we're going to walk you through that first because it's important. Your connection for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth happen right here. You're not normally connected unless you go in here and actually make it happen. So it's searching and now it's connecting and now the watch is going to be on Wi-Fi. You saw in the setup how you get it connected the first time and after that you're, you're basically okay. In Bluetooth, same kind of thing. You can go in, it'll search, and you can do uh, Bluetooth connectivity as well. That's all in the connections, followed by common area, another gear. This is another whole area that you have control over, changing your time format, your units, you know, 12 or 24 hour imperial or metric, uh, silence on or off, um, the silent start time, so you can have it go silent at night, for example, uh, and, and come back alive for you in the morning. The airplane mode, all the things that we saw in that pull-down menu. Here's an auto airplane mode. You have the long press uh, key for notifications, or you can choose what you'd like. Okay, sport or widgets. You have the watch faces that you can select from. From within the watch, you can also do that from the app. You can have a change in the vibration level, and you can't feel this, but there's a distinctive difference. I like it on strong. Yeah, there we go. Um, backlighting, we saw that when we just tapped on it. Here you can change it through settings. You can have it automatically activate the light when you raise your arm or save battery and turn that off. You have the auto backlighting capability. Hmm, interesting. Go in here and a switch to turn it on and the start time and end times for the auto backlight to activate again so you can wear it to bed and not have it flashing at you in the middle of the night From 7 a.m. to 2200 it's going to be turned off auto upload will automatically send your data to the cloud that'll be accessible for you on the app if you want that or you can take manual control on it you can have tap to wake. Instead of having to push a button to get it to wake, you can come in here and activate this. And now you just simply tap the screen. But there's more likelihood that it will actually 
turn on accidentally if you touch your screen and don't mean to. So a lot of folks leave that off and use it from here. And finally, your wear habit, is it going to be on the left arm or the right arm? And you can switch that from here. And that's everything in common within settings. You have the upload to the cloud for your data, the update we just saw and did uh, for updating the watch. Check it regularly. There are oftentimes updates with this company. Here's your device information where you can reboot it or power off. There's how you find how you power off. It's not as easy as it looks. You got to go into settings, scroll down and come in here. And here you can factory reset the whole watch and set it up as if it's brand new. Also, it appears when you disconnect or unpair from your app, it's going to do a factory restore and take all your stuff out as well because it's contoured, especially for you. So be aware of that. You have the factory restore happening as well. In here are the different apps that come with it and probably ones that you could add to it. You have a disconnection alert. Um, that's kind of, you know, vibrating if you're out of, out of range with your phone. A uh, stand-up alert, which is your sedentary reminder. And a daily overview. You come in here and you can look at and modify your, your step goals and the goal alert to let you know how well you're doing toward your alert. That's all in the health area, which is another whole area altogether. The about the watch gives you the name, the model, the ROM version that's running. Check yours, 2327. Are you on that one? If it's lower, you're going to need to update. If it's higher, well, I'm going to need to update. The serial number for this particular unit, your total storage and free available 2.18 gigabytes for holding music and stuff like that that I could play with headphones or earbuds. Bluetooth and LAN and legal stuff, all that's in the about. And then there's this lab area where if you want to be a beta tester, you can actually do this and uh, activate these special features that they're testing out and collecting data on. So if you want to be one of those data nodes to contribute your information, you can activate this. PPG has to do with the laser diodes in the back that's usually used for getting your heart rate. And uh, PPG capturing will help them refine that information and other sensory uh, capturing you can turn on here. Since I need to make this as, uh, as usable as possible, <laughs> I'm gonna leave it like that. Oh, you notice it timed out. If I wait long enough, it's going to uh, go back uh, to the time display and lock itself. So press once should put me right where I was and I can bail out of that now too. And then you have the reporting and error area where you can uh, send reports uh, to help them out in troubleshooting. That we got to from settings, which we got to from here. If I go the other way and I pull up, I get my notifications. Whatever notifications are being pushed to you from your phone, or in this case, update information directly from the watch, will show up here. All right? If I go this way, I get into sports. Well, actually, when I go this way or that way, I'm doing a lot of stuff. Notice up here at the top, you see these little dots? These dots represent all the different things you can see in this horizontal level. So the far left one is called the daily view or daily overview of your activities. The next one beside that are the actual activities and it's got a walk listed with mileage and, and time. And this is one of the things that I did in my other stratus. So when I restored my data, it came back to me. Very interesting. Remember, we reviewed the Chinese version of the same watch earlier. Here are the different sports. Walk and run are the two that are listed right here, but you can go into more, and you have all these cycling, pool swimming, open water, running indoors, indoor cycling, different things, elliptical trainer, have to do with whether or not you have GPS activated or not, climbing, all of these Obviously, outdoor things, you're going to be using GPS, but the indoor ones, you won't. Okay, we now have skiing, tennis, and soccer as well. All of those are in the various sports that you have. Come back here to get to the main one, and then come over one more, and we're back to the time display. So when you swipe to the right, you're getting all the way into the sports stuff. Three pages of sports from the home page. When you go the other direction, you switch first into weather. 
and it's the weather forecast next to the time display. And if I slide right from there, I get to continuous heart rate. Now, I haven't worn the watch yet, so I don't have any data on any of this. But you could say check now. It's looking for you already. See the diodes flashing, and it'll give you your heart rate, continuous heart rate. Oh, and I talk too long for it. You've got music player here for all your onboard music. You can tether to headphones, no doubt. An alarm uh, setting area. Your oh, uh, compass, which is in here, which is really nice. Look at this. North is pointing right at me. I'm sitting looking south, and it's an accurate and quick response compass. You have a stopwatch, a sleep area, which will tell you how you slept last night if you wear it to bed. A training center, which is a whole other entity, and that's in the pace as well. That's like a whole other topic, so we're going to just skip through that one. And then a basic timer where you can actually do a countdown timing, which is sort of like an alarm, but you know, not a specific time, a, an elapsed time. And all these are little dots right here that are associated with the uh, different pages on the app and you can go forward or back with these buttons and if you press and hold the top button it'll flap you right back to the main screen so we've had this screen and we've had health ones on this side and we've had all the other ones to the right of here and we've had notifications there and that's the setup of the um the Stratos watch, you've looked at settings, and we've done all these other functions. So let's take a look at the app that goes along with this watch. Once again, the tethering app for this watch is the AmazeFit watch. It's available in the Google Play Store. Simply download it, install it, and open it. You drop into the status screen, which gives you your basic information page. You can slide over this way or click on Sport. And it shows you all of your sports and you have them individually one by one. So for example, here's the walking tab, the cycling, and the trail run. If I go over one, then I'm just looking at walking. If I go into here and I press this button, I'll take away my actual map and you can just see the track itself. Or if I turn that on, you'll see my specific location and Google Maps. It gives you this kind of information for a walk and you can do the same thing for trail runs and for cycling. In cycling you get this kind of information that includes your time, your average speed, your total calories burned and so forth. And of course you can zoom in or move around on the uh, map if you want to. And these are your uh, milestone markers, kilometers or miles. No doubt we're in miles right now. And that's the uh, sport. And then your final tab is all of your setup and information. Here's where you set your account, all of your height, weight, and gender business for calculating calories, your status. Uh, my watch, this is the fun one to go into because Here's where it gives you specifics on the power level and the watch faces. We have 14 to choose from for the Stratos and um, widget and app management and more. If we go into watch faces, you can see them all here. It says to synchronize custom watch faces and background images here. You can load in your own photos and create your own watch faces if you want to, or you can take the stock ones. Now, I have it on my arm. You haven't seen it on my arm yet. There you go. That's the watch face that we have going right now. And it looks like it's this one, right? Let's pop in a yellow one. And there it pops up nice and bright and easy to read. We have the light on in the background for the moment. It'll time out and then you'll see what it's like without the backlit. Kind of dim, but again, if you get it in the right reflection, you've got an easy to read indoor, outdoor, time only watch face with this one. And of course, you can choose any other style that you like and just jump between them at your leisure right here from the, um, the app itself. Or you can do it, of course, by selecting it from the watch faces. So these are stock watch faces that come with it. And um, again, you can put in your own as well. Now, that time the light went off, but I should be able to tap it and activate the light. You see all the information that it's giving you there quite a bit. Okay, that's watch faces. This is widget and app management. These are all the different things. Remember when we page through that are available to you? 
they're all turned on and they're all in the order that they came with. But if compass is most important to you, you should be able to click and hold and bring it up and it'll sh show up before weather even, right after your, um, uh, whatchamacallit, your, your time display. So now if I activate it and I swipe to the right, I have my compass, very first thing. So lots of capabilities and control with this app, with this watch, with all of it, and uh, easy to configure, and it tracks your, uh, your workouts, and they are uploaded to the cloud. You can change watches. These were all done on the other Stratos, and some, I think, even on the Pace, so you can coordinate them between watches if you change watches periodically as well. And your daily activities will show up on this page, and that's the app. Well, that's it. This is the English version now of the AmazeFit Stratos, also called the AmazeFit Smartwatch 2. Really nice build, solid case, three buttons, back buttons, forward buttons, a center one, swipe, easy to navigate. It capitalizes on all of the improvements that we've seen on the AmazeFit Pace, and there were a bunch of them over, over time. Here we go to calibrate our compass again we didn't see that before cool all right uh so yeah highly recommended waterproof removable bands uh overall a nice very nice uh sports fitness band a little on the pricey side but then you're paying for an amaze fit aren't you <laughs> in terms of getting one GearBest is the supplier for us for this particular evaluation model and they've got a buying link in the show notes down below so take a look, click on it. If we got a discount uh, we can give to you on this watch, we definitely will. And thanks for your subscription and being here to take this whole thing in. All right, we'll see you again soon.